everyone and thank you for taking the time to uh, watch this video on my thoughts on leadership in a time of crisis. American author James Lane Allen said, crisis does not build character, it reveals it. But as the coronavirus crisis has shown, it also reveals a lack of it. Admittedly, leading effectively in the middle of a global health and economic crisis is no picnic. But some leadership uh, is doing a far worse job than others. In South Africa, Stella Ndabela Abrams, South Africa's communication, telecommunication and postal service minister, broke lockdown to have lunch at a friend's house. After pictures appeared in social media, she apologized for her actions and were placed on special leave and paid a fine of a thousand rand. In Scotland, Chief Medical Officer Dr. Catherine Cedarwood ignored her own advice to stay home and protect the NHS by spending two weekends at her second home an hour's drive from her primary residence. After deafening public outrage, she resigned from her position. Fortunately, we also have good examples of crisis leadership, and our own president, Cyril Ramaphosa, is one of them. He has been hailed both locally and internationally for his strong and decisive leadership during the COVID-19 crisis in South Africa. Of course, the true measure of how well our global leaders handled this pandemic will only be evident once the crisis has passed and the steps to navigate the way forward are taken and we have seen the results. At the end of the day, good leadership will always be good leadership. It may take a crisis to reveal it, but when all is said and done, it really does come down to character. Thank you for taking this time. Please leave your thoughts and comments below and looking forward to our next time that we meet. Stay safe, stay healthy, Goodbye.